Hello all, welcome to Random Art with Karen. I'm getting ready to set up my weekly prayerful planner. And I was out on the website by the Well for God and I purchased this beautiful kit. Uh, she does both digital and physical products. I have purchased some of her physical products and just superb quality and beautiful. <laughs> But I'm going digital, and so this is the kit. So as you can see, there is a lot packed in here. Some beautiful washi strips and patterned paper, and then this beauty, and has both light and dark skin tones. So I printed out on my Avery clear label sheets that I like to use, the 8.5 by 11 matte finish. And I have an inkjet printer. Now, I uh, did print out this page just like it was. Yeah, it's called a heart at peace. So nice little fluffy pillow there. Now here what I did was I, I use a snippet tool on my computer so I can just snip parts of uh, these printables and then bring them into Microsoft Word and uh, just put them on one page trying to conserve my ink and then you know these papers are not <laughs> inexpensive either and I, I knew there were some that I, on this particular layout I wasn't going to use so uh, I was trying to be conservative there so yeah I'm that beautiful so yeah on this pattern paper there's small flowers and then larger flowers so let me get these cut out and then we'll start working on our spread so hold on All right, so I did go ahead and uh, put this down, and I've been having trouble with my printer. This is not uh, the artwork. This is my printer doing this. I think it's about time to invest in a new one, and I have come through here uh, with my whiteout, just some big whiteout, and took care of that. My cat was up here, so there's cat hairs, <laughs> and then, um, boy, she really did. Okay. Uh, yeah, did some white out on these to put the pillows. So let me go ahead and get these whited out. Uh, if you're looking at my dates, I started this uh, back in November. I got it like the last part of November. And so I used date covers to go ahead and start it back here. <laughs> But then what happened was then when I came to use it at the first part, I'd already done this week back there. So that's why it's saying the week of December 26th through January 1st, uh, because like I said, I did it back there and did not need to do that week twice. But then it left me the availability to do, to do this and write down the scripture. So let's see. Pretty color in it. Yeah, there were some words through here, tons as you saw of uh, verses. I'll need to look up. But then I also I put where I got it from, and this one is called A Heart at Rest, and it's uh, by the Well for God. And, uh, yep, I did six and seven on those others. <clears throat> yeah, there were a lot. Uh, I hadn't visited her site in quite some time, and so there is a lot of digital product. So I appreciate. I'll have to look in my comments to see who uh, was kind enough to say I love digital and then they suggested by the well for God, uh, along with Illustrated Faith and the Creative uh, Retreat Kits. And so I have already looked there. Hadn't shopped or hadn't purchased anything yet. Oop. I think I put my pillow upside down. See, I can't talk <laughs> and put stickers down at the same time. Oh, well. Oh, well. 
<laughs> I can do about it. Well, it just kind of makes it a little different than, doesn't it? <laughs> no, not matchy matchy, that's for sure. But I did see several Illustrated Faith uh, kits that I want. Uh, but the, I had been ordering some physical stickers because I'd been seeing some sales and some new companies. And then when I was asking y'all to comment what you wanted, everybody was going digital, digital. <laughs> so <laughs> I got all these physicals. Maybe I'll do a, a, a video that's a combination of both physical and digital uh, on one spread. I don't want to do just to make it kind of fun and different. And so it, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't look like uh, that was a mistake <laughs> or an oopsies. Let's see. How did I decide to do that now? I forgot. Well, we're doing it like this now. Come on, white out, don't fail me now. There we go, thank you. That's a beautiful color, isn't it? And it picks up all the colors of this gal down here. Yeah, here I had um, part of the florals, and I had also enlarged it when I used my snippet tool and then brought it into my uh, Word document. I enlarged it a little bit. And, all right, let's read Mark 6, 31. And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a, des a desert place, and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. So they had been so busy, they hadn't even had time to eat. So is that verse telling us that uh, we need to unplug? So we're going to push pause? Uh, I have to admit, I, I love my social media. Uh, I love checking Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest. And I have already admitted that uh, I will YouTube binge watch. Yeah, I love watching, playing with me's and uh, journaling and yeah. So I, I, sh I need to unplug. Uh, Yeah, have you ever been like without electricity or your internet, and and you're like, well, uh, well, then what, what, what's there to do? <laughs> Whatever shall we do? Of course, I'm of the age, brought up on board games. I'd have to look and see if we if we have any board games or a deck of cards in the house. <laughs> I'll just take the back of my nail and just kind of rub it there and then it blends into that pillow there. Okay, what other verse? Let's see what Second Chronicles has to say. Second Chronicles 1411. This is my grandmother's Bible and it's wonderfully large print. Second Chronicles. You know what? That must be a misprint because my Second Chronicles only goes to chapter thirteen. All right, well let's choose. Let's choose another. <laughs> 
Let's see what Isaiah has to say. Isaiah 26, 9. Isaiah. See, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations. I've got to run through my books of the Bible to remember where it is. There we go. Isaiah 26, 9. And with my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. That's Isaiah 26, 9. That's going to be our Bible verse there. Trim it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to write my verses there. And then, of course, I can put some more verses there and down there. Um, yeah, I've got a lot to read here. Choose my verses wisely. Find that line so I can get it straight. Burnish that in. Okay. And uh, I think I'll put another flower, one of the flowers there. Not sure which one of these. I'll cut them both out and kind of, well, let's see, that one kind of, well, I can still use it. I'd say that one kind of got cut off, but I could just snug it up against that, the line, and it'll look, look fine. Up against the line, it'll look fine. That's because that's looking a little bit too bulky. Yeah, I might print off some of the paper that was in the kit, the pattern paper, because I like doing like, you know, corners uh, with the pattern paper. And if, if I do that, I will probably just put it on regular printer paper and not uh, my clear. So I could do that. Pull it up against like that. What do you think? Or like that. I'm liking the color there. I think I like this color better. So we will save you for another spot. Another rainy day. All right, so I'm going to read some more Bible verses uh, and then uh, fill those in and then start writing some things in and we'll come right back. So hold on. Editing Karen here. So when I was looking up Second Chronicles, I actually was looking at Second Corinthians. So this is correct. <laughs> there is there is a Second Chronicles chapter 14, but there isn't in Corinthians, just so that you know, and I went ahead and wrote the verse down. All right, let me finish this out and be right back. Okay, I'm going to use Psalm 4610. That's the one, be still and know that I am God. People have busy lives. Sometimes it's hard to be still. I think especially if you have kids and having to take them to different things. and Or maybe if you're taking care of someone that you're having to take to doctor visits and or therapy. Um, 
Yeah, if you are sitting in waiting rooms, take your Bible with you and use that time to read. Um, yep. There we go. Six ten. Be still and know that I am God. I realize that there is a line there. Um, I still use a ruler. I know it's weird. Be <laughs> still and no. Just helps control my hand a bit better. And I'm using a Pilot G207. Oh, let's see. I don't want to write this. A, I will be exalted. Yeah, some of these... Uh, I couldn't put it all there, so I just put, you know, the dot dot there. Be exalted. Among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. It's so quiet. <laughs> Tom's at the dentist. Uh, the cats are asleep. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. And that's Psalm 46.10. All right, so I need to pick out a verse for there. And um, I think I'll continue writing scripture here. Or if some of my stickers come, because I did uh, order some stickers that have script in them, I may put those, put those there. So um, hold on, we're gonna finish this out. Okay, so I've gotten my other verses uh, written down, and then added some flowers and such, and. For here, I decided I am going to do some stamping. This is a kit from Creative Retreat. And Janice, you, you had asked for digital from Creative Retreats and uh, By the Well for God and Illustrated Faith. And when I was looking for something to fill here, I was looking through my stamps. And um, yeah, I just thought this would be a good fit. And then when I saw all the stamps that I'd had that I'd forgotten about, I thought, you know, Jean asked for some stamping, so, and I'll be doing more stamping than this, Jean, so hang, hang in there with me. So we're going to do Peace of Jesus. Yeah, I had forgotten. Do you find that? Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> A lot of stamps, and I'm sure I've told y'all before, but that's really was my crafting beginning was stamping and making cards oh, loved it all right pray that this I'm going down straight down straight back up by the way whoo that turned out nice and clean <laughs> don't spit on it carrot yeah I put a little dish here underneath to keep this propped up uh, so that I would have this firm flat surface all right so peace let me do a little practice first um, I'd already practiced earlier but now I need to make sure I know which ways up okay 
that would be awkward. Have it upside down. And when you're stamping, it's best to have a block uh, that is the size of your stamp. Because as you can see, you get ink on the outside like that. And if you happen to bump it, tilt it, then that's how you get a smear. Yeah, and one of the beauties of these clear stamps is being able to see exactly where you're stamping. Looks like that acrylic picked up a little extra ink, but it's still, see, I was afraid since there was ink there, but, whoo, that turned out nice. <laughs> I'm not always this lucky to get such a nice, crisp image, so very, very happy with that. All right, all right. Um, yeah, I hope you like this because it was a lot of fun. And then something different because I haven't used, by the well for God, digitals, you know, just their physical kit. And then I dusted off my stamps. So uh, this was quite fun. All right, good people. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Become a subscriber if you're not already. Just hit that subscribe button. And those of you that, that do subscribe, you know I appreciate you. Let's do the wave by. I look forward to doing some faith journaling with you next time.